the Battle Royal. It was an undetected killer sweeping the globe as the world was in the throes of a deadly war. A virus so relentless it infected one-third of the world's population and killed an estimated 50 million people. Adjusted for population today would equal about 220 to 440 million people. 675,000 perished in the United States alone. Author John Barry has written extensively about the great influenza, calling its impact lethal. The 1918 pandemic killed roughly two-thirds of the people in, in a matter of weeks. Uh, it also concentrated on otherwise healthy young adults. The peak age for death was 28. With no vaccine or medicines to combat disease, the Spanish influenza, considered one of the worst pandemics in modern day history, quickly overwhelmed the medical community. As infections soared, Catholic sisters from all over the country were called to serve in new and profound ways. They saw terrible, terrible things. Sister Margaret Donegan has researched the extraordinary efforts of 14 Sisters of Charity who traveled to the rural mining town of Shemokin, Pennsylvania, a tiny community placed under martial law and surrounded by state police because of the high levels of the contagion. They were bringing comfort to the patients. They would hold their hands. They would talk to them. They would pray for them. Um, they would listen to their stories. Stories so heartbreaking, they wrote their mother superior to tell her. They had seen things they could never write about and they had seen things they could never possibly imagine. Women of faith doing whatever was necessary to relieve the suffering. They went into homes and they saw parents who had died and children huddled together. They listened to fathers saying they were the breadwinners. What was going to happen to their wife and to their children? They saw mothers pleading to God to cure them because of the children who were at home. From mining communities in rural Pennsylvania to makeshift encampments in Ohio and Massachusetts, these women cared for the stricken in hospitals, tented clinics, even private homes, many with little or no medical experience. Women of faith, forever on the front lines, answering the call in service to God and country. Michelle Powers, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.